Marilyn had never met her father and her mom was the only family that she had left. How's your day, my little girl? Good, how is yours? Miss Monroe, I need to come with us. Get off me, I have no problem, get out! She was taken to the mental hospital and had schizophrenia. Hi, I'm an orphan at Angel's Orphan Home Society. Marilyn is my sister here and nobody likes her. She takes all the boys away from me and my friends. Hi, Aunt Grace. Hi, Hi Marilyn. Oh. Marilyn, this is Jim. Jim, Marilyn. Marilyn, I know you're stuck in an orphanage and your Aunt Gracie is moving away, but I can save you if you marry me. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> he popped the Jim Doherty was a 21-year-old man. The marriage ended Marilyn's status as an orphan, but brought them neither happiness nor pain. Because of this, they got a divorce. After their divorce, Marilyn decided to pursue her dream of acting. In Hollywood, Marilyn was treated as though she was dumb and oblivious and was taken advantage of throughout her whole life. The setting of the story is in Hollywood, California, and this is important because Marilyn, her career would be in California and her loved ones would be in California as well. Wow, that dinner was really good. Yes, it was. May you please take me home? Of course. They had first met at a dinner party that night. Your house is coming up in a little, but can we keep driving for a little bit? It's a lovely night for a drive. Yeah, it is. Marilyn, I'd like you to know more about me. I'm a baseball player and belong to the Yankee Ball Club of the American League in New York. You're very pretty, Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn felt as though she was understood by Joe, and at this point in her career, she was very successful after not making money for many years. Marilyn had booked many jobs at this point. Joe brought much happiness into Marilyn's life. Marilyn changes from being bounced around from orphanages to foster homes to making her way through Hollywood. Through the story, Marilyn realized that Hollywood wasn't as she always dreamed it was, and she found people that love and accept her. So good, yes. No, give me one more. Thin. Would you give us a minute? I just got back from performing for the wounded Korean soldiers with Joe, and I wrote a manuscript script, and I like. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. What did you write it about? Me. Oh, that makes so much sense. That's where Marilyn's manuscript ended, and my personal connections is that things aren't always as they seem in her example Hollywood. There's also a deeper meaning to everybody. Throughout the book, Marilyn has grown as a character and found herself. I recommend this book for both boys and girls ages 13 and up because of the topics discussed. Yeah, I'm a diva like Marilyn Monroe. No boys allowed. I want it now. Call me a diva. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, I'm a diva, Miss Marilyn Monroe.